Really quickly, chat. We have two scouts that we have to bring in. Right? Quick and easy. Two scouts. Whatever. But in terms of head coaches, allow me to fire a goalie coach really quickly because there was a brand new coach on the goalie market and his name is Brent Burns as an A-. minus. It is not often, not often at all, that these former players actually end up being good coaches. So we will bring him in as a goalie coach temporarily and then obviously move him around if need be. Hopefully he doesn't decline because of the role. He shouldn't. Um, but we'll make him a goalie coach for half a minute. And then preseason, we'll shuffle him around if it turns out that he has the best chemistry for who's out there. But yeah, not often. Former players. That's something I've also begged for. I want former players to start being more usable coaches over the generated players, you know, especially if they're not going to have the license. Um, if they're not going to have the license for former coaches or for current head coaches in the NHL, then make it more fun. Now, not every former player that becomes a coach is all that successful. The greatest hockey player of all time, Wayne Gretzky, was a dreadful head coach. Absolutely dreadful. But, again, given the limitations, given the fact that I can't hire Rod Brindamore, I can't hire Jim Montgomery, I can't hire the greatest head coach of all time, Dominique Ducharme, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. I didn't think he'd be able to, we'd be able to give him a full offer. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So, we'll sit here. Quick quick two a chat. Ask away. Why not? We got uh, to about $9.9 .9 million for this, so... How many shots on goal would the Leafs goalies get next season? With Brent Burns, zero. Every, I'm going to bring in the Sedins just to try to teach him how to block shots. You thought John Tortorella was bad. I like Kit Kats. Kit Kats are okay. Do a quick mock for picks one through five. No. Oh, I know, Sin. Yeah, that's, that's the answer. Just hold right. Do I abandon everything and become a Nordiques fan? Yes. Yes, you do. Um... Are there other coaches? Ooh. All right. Chris Tanev, who is back in a Canucks jersey instead of in his Calgary jersey. <laughs> Somebody didn't update the uh, the picture uh, the picture file location. Just goes to show that a bunch of old player pictures are still like on disc for this game. Shout out to Tusk Schefter. Adam Schefter's much handsomer and... Tusked brother. Um, I actually, you know, again, like if coaches are good, I'm willing to bring him in. Let me fire our AHL goalie coach as well. And I'll see if I can bring in Tanev. I'll see if I can. If someone is going to actually be a usable coach, I do prefer to actually use them. So let's see what we can do. I'm better than Adam Schefter. That's not saying much. Adam Schefter is a terrible person. So is that why the game's like an 84 gigabyte download? It could be. It could be. Zigamanis wouldn't actually be Mike Zigamanis, though. Yeah, anything below uh, a B, I would not sign. And yeah, already there's there's basically there's basically nobody. So we're good. We're good. We're good. So free agency. Let's get a full look at what's out there, because obviously we don't need much. We're a pretty well-oiled machine at this rate. No RFA goalies. UFA goalies include Ottinger, Skinner, Swayman, Sogard, Devin Levi, and more. I have no desire to spend big money on a goalie since we have Barnison. However, Jeremy Swayman is only asking for $2 million. Compared to Sogard, who's asking for four and a half. Hello, Deke Slayer. <laughs> You've had an interesting day. Uh, much like Sin, I uh, I knew it was coming for you, buddy. Congratulations. I'm glad you're there. I suggested you, obviously. Um, I knew it was coming, but I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to spoil the surprise for you. <sighs> I think we have to put out an offer for Swayman. Yeah, I was going to say, Deke, codes? New game changer? Any codes? Got codes? Guys, hit up Deke Slayer, at Deke Slayer on Twitter. Ask for NHL 23 codes. 
He is a game changer. Codes. Codes, codes. <laughs> codes, codes. And where's Snipe? He's loaded with them. <laughs> He's here, too. Um, God, even Scott Wedgwood, the man with the greatest mask in hockey, is asking for very little money. Uh, Gerard's terrible. The only guy, the only guy to sign would be Swayman. We don't necessarily need him, though, but man, Swayman and Barnison would be incredible. In theory. Swayman has been very consistent. Career 918 save percentage. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. It would put Joseph Wall into the third spot on the depth chart, but all in all, it's not bad. The only issue with potentially signing Swayman, even though it makes all the sense in the world, Mills, hello, how are you, is that we already have Barnison. Rotzloff might be ready to be an NHL backup, and if he is, AHL goaltending becomes Luf Harenstam and Filatov, and we'd sign Filatov. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Cody, take it easy. Paulie, hello. Trade Wall to Montreal to play with Hall for the law. <laughs> Boo! That was fantastic. Defensively, RFAs. Good Lord. Byram, Fox, Colborn, Korchinski. Pierala. Toca Pierala. Pierala. Third round pick. Defensive defenseman, I believe it. He's not a great fit for us, but he's also not a bad fit. 58 months for Warrior paying for friendship. Is that how you view it? Who said we were friends? <laughs> Anything under one six and a quarter means we do not have to pay compensation. Uh, Warrior, thank you for supporting my face, though. You know I appreciate it. Anything under one six, so... Doka would still cost us a third round pick, which I'm not excited about. There is Ben Roger, who could be a decent fit for us. Uh, we'll, we'll pay attention to Piovala. UFA defenders. I mean, it's a one-man class, and it's Rasmus Anderson, but we won't be going for him at... I mean, 7 8 is actually not bad for the points that he can put up. He's a good play driver for Rasmus. Good defensively as well. I'm surprised he puts up as many assists and goals as he does. That would certainly. Oh, man, that would certainly improve the team, but no real prospects to work with unless there are high sixes. There's a lot of high sixes, Jesus. But most of them are older now. There is, is this Eric Naus? Evan Noose. Naus. Naus. There's also Schmidt. Tyson Hines. It's a Ducks prospect. Hmm. Would these guys just create too much of a log jam defensively is the question. They might. They might. They might. Let's remember that they're there. Don't know for sure what we're going to do yet. And then for the forwards, RFAs. I mean, Connor McMichael, Klimchek, Yemelin. Melon. Dimitri Emelin. Tremendous shot. If that price goes down, he'd be worth it. A lot of other guys who might also be worth it, but at 24, they're not going to get much better. Will Cools out there. Uh, Prochor Poltapov is out there. Risk the it for the biscuit. The Adam McQuaid amount of months. Jeez. You kiss ass. The, <laughs> the only person who'd be like, hey, the Adam McQuaid amount of months. Of You're correct. <laughs> but still. Uh, ooh, Sasha Pashtuzhov. Oh my god, the RFA years we could buy right now. Four years at one six, technically one six two five. 
be pretty good. 23 Harrison, but he's only a uh, he's only a medium top nine, Brett Harrison. And then for whatever reason, this guy was signed to a contract. Are you seeing this shit? That's the that's the AI GMs at their best signing players like that. Holy hell. Brutal. Brutal. UFAs. Nick Schmaltz wants 13 million. Pedersen only wants eight. He hasn't been elite in Vancouver, but he's also been on Vancouver. Domi, Ovechkin, Vander Kane. Well, if I need someone to take penalty minutes in the playoffs, he's my guy. Georgie Merkeloff is out there. What about the high nines? Any interesting options here? Alexander Kisakov. Wouldn't be a bad player to go after. Uh, there's also Jakob Demek, the Vegas Golden Knights previously. Would make sense to go after him. Help fill out the team. There's Ilya Fedotov. No, not the goalie. Two years of RFA status left. There's Samu Tuamala. This is going to be close in terms of contracts, too. Oh my God, how many other high nine prospects are there? Please stop. Savoy wouldn't be the worst at 24, but he's not going to get much better. I mean, it's quite a few 24-year-olds, uh, but again, they're not going to get that much better. So, we are up to, looks like six, because I haven't darkened the green. I know it's cut off by the, uh, the webcam as well. Again, RFAs, there are some interesting ones to watch. But the big question is Pedersen. The rest would simply be too expensive based off of what I'd prefer to pay them. I mean, Max Domi wants nine million bucks. Although, Jesus, lately he's been worth it. Schmaltz. I mean, Schmaltz has been playing with Austin Matthews and Clayton Keller. So that's a that's a fucking trap card if I've ever seen one. Or Schmaltz, although he does, he's not bad, but obviously we couldn't pay him $13 million. And an OV, obviously, at 40 years old. Let's look at the team. Let's look at the team. So Jeremy Swayman is available on a super cheap contract. I don't think it's worth it because it would hold up Ratzloff, which in turn would hold up Filatov. Because again, Ratzloff might be getting the bump up to be our NHL backup over Joseph Wall. So I'm not going to risk it for Swayman, even though it is a beautiful contract. And let's be honest, uh, Carson Barnison's our guy. He is. He is our guy. Jake, what's going on? Defensively. God, we have a lot of players here. We do. So defensively, we have Riley on the left. Cool Lemons. Ulamans on the right. Uh, we got Sokolov on the left with Maverick. And then we have Lannon with Sandine Palika on the right. Some other players very much in the mix. Forwards. Damn. So presumably... German on the left, Mesa at center, Nylander on the right, Hardigan with Macklin and Meechkoff. Third line, left wing, I'm not sure. Center would be Geeky, right wing would be Sale. And then the fourth line is going to be what it was last season um, with Ronnie Hirvinen. Josh Piller 
and uh, Saron Noel. So we already have more forwards than we know what to do with because Graves is NHL level, Keeskinen's NHL level, Weeks might be NHL level by the start of the season. <sighs> Where the hell would Pedersen fit in? Like we signed Pedersen, Macklin becomes a winger. And we probably keep him on the third line, but then that'll eventually force an issue between German Hardigan and Macklin where one will probably have to go so we don't stunt anyone's development. But that would also immediately force Miles Graves off the team. And then Keeskinen as well. This grinder with 241 penalty minutes, 33 fights as a rookie in the AHL. <laughs> I mean, we have to see that guy at the NHL level eventually. So as much as there are contracts out there, Pedersen, Swayman, it would disrupt the... Really, the the assembly line almost of this team where we're just churning out great player after great player. So again, Rasmus definitely isn't going to happen. I mean, Rasmus Anderson could happen, but Kuhlman's and Maverick Lamoureux would, would suffer. One of them would probably have to go. So how much would it really improve us? Boom. Stubbs. Stubbs. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. I hope you are well. How did the stream go? What were you up to tonight? Is my shout out going to work? No, it's not. So let me know what the hell you were playing tonight. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Um, there were those high six prospects. And there was... Toka. Rala, who we do not need. So... I think for the most part, I think for the most part, we are, we're good. I think for the most part, we're set up. Again, Pedersen on a cheap contract would be fucking great. Um, it just doesn't make sense for this team. So we will absolutely need some cap whales. Absolutely. For now, our biggest question is, will Brent Burns be a member of this coaching staff? And the answer is yes. Welcome, to the beard, and Chris Tanev has also been brought in as a staff member. We got Malik and Jenny Koistinen. Gisakov signs. Pastujov, we do not know yet. Grinding some MLB, fair. <sighs> Have you had luck with showdowns lately? Because holy fuck, they make me want to jump out my window. Mobski, what's up? Uh, Fedotov signs. Boltapov signs for the moment. Again, their RFA is Demic signs. Uh, Tuamala. Uh, Pasujov stays with the Ducks. Boltapov signs. All right, Prokhor Boltapov comes over for nothing. Sweet. Sweet. Jump out the window onto the Cats. Salary for bread is the minimum a team has to spend. It's the minimum a team has to spend. When I was playing today, uh, dude, I've I keep getting to like the final one before the final showdown for the fucking kaiju bullshit. And I hate it. Um, that second line on salary cap is the lowest. I would guess it's about 78. I actually think I can check what it is. I can check what it is, can't I? No. I don't fucking know. It's about 78 million or so would be my estimate. What are we at contract wise, actually, now that I think about it? 44. 44. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We could still go for some of those defenders if they're there. Can't get past David Robertson. I've been able to get past him, but yeah, it, it doesn't get any easier. It's a fucking nightmare, and I hate it. And I hate it, and I hate it. All right, defensively. UFAs, are those high top six still available? They are. Of Heinz, Schmidt, and Anoush. Naus. What 
the RFAs that are out there. Or we wait for RFAs that are out there. Ben Rogers out there. I don't think it's necessarily worth waiting. Will Cool could end up being... Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Holy balls. I think we're good. We'll have to sign a couple of people to fill out the roster, but even those defensive prospects, we're good. We got nothing to worry about. We got nothing to worry about right now. Uh, I just realized people probably want to know where certain people went. I'm so focused on our team that I'm like, ah, I don't fucking care. Okay, we might have to do another go around of what do teams look like in the modern day because clearly uh, this league is entirely different. It'll pain me. It'll pain me to look at how the AI manage their team, but hey, we could do it. It could be done. It can be done. It will be done. We can and we will. And now we won't, Brendan. So thanks for that. Thanks for that, Brendan. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Shout out to 2007 with this song, by the way. So, Rotzloff. Could be the backup. We have to make that decision. We have to make that decision. I think we'll stick with it. I think we'll stick with it. So the only goalie, we're not going to bring in Filatov this year. We are going to bring Endo back as our cap whale. Continue to make him a million bajillionaire. As he has not improved whatsoever, which is beautiful. What are the lines looking like? We haven't set him yet for the upcoming season, so you're just in time to see the process. There we go. Cap whale number one. Cap whale number one. Defensively. Morgan Riley regressing a little bit. Kuhlman's Riley and Lamoureux. I mean, for the most part, that is our defense. Sandy and Pelica, depth defender, but he's pretty much good to go. Dickinson. All right, Dickinson. One season at the AHL level. It's taken him a little bit to develop. I had to stop and go to bed before I broke something. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Um, that AHL roster is good, man. That AHL roster is good. Pretty much plenty of space. Niemela and Hollowell will be one of them will be the depth option. Um, we can go out and sign one more defenseman and use them as a cap whale. Uh, let's see. Time to trade Morgan Riley soon. Not necessarily. Ooh, Colorado. Unable to sign Bowen Byram. They don't have the space. 40, 50 point defender. Shot hasn't developed well, but. And then there's this Fox guy, Jalen Fox. Columbus. Holy penalty minutes. Wow. 20 to 30 point guy. 20 to 30 point guy. He does have the offensive awareness and the passing. He also has thunder clapping off the rush, so he has a great slap shot. Interesting. It'd be down to four million. Byram, the lowest it can go, was also about four million. It'd be a second round pick. For either of those defenders, whose teams, I mean, Colorado has less than a million dollars in cap space. Columbus has about $2 million in cap space. They cannot afford those players. It might be worth swooping in to make something happen here. They're both left side defenders. We could only get one of them, or it would be get one of them, trade to get the second round pick back, and then do it again. Left side. 
We do have we do have Sokolov and Lannan. Sokolov has Heat Seeker. Twenty nine points last year. Would it be cheaper to trade for than sign? No, because trading wise they keep that value. And then Lannan is a shutdown defender. I mean, he went from a minus twenty one to a plus twenty two the next season. But with Morgan Riley regressing, I'm not necessarily playing people within their roles. I mean, man, you could be talking about having Morgan Riley, our captain, as our third pair defender. Sacrifice Sokoloff and Lannan to pull this off. It's it's a little bit it's a little bit exploitive. But I never said we weren't going to be exploitive of the AI in this series because the AI fucking suck and shouldn't end up in this situation anyway. <laughs> Fox, Byram, Riley could be our left side. That would, I mean, we might win the cup this year. And again, our goal is to win as many as we can. One year... 4.8 million for Fox. We still have 57.8 million dollars in cap space. We're about to have less because we do have the first cap will offer out. We're at least going to target Jalen Fox first. And for the record for forwards, it's just John Beecher out there. Let's send forward a couple of days. So Endo signed the cap will offer. Fox has signed. We know Columbus can't match. Second round pick. We acquire a franchise defenseman in Jalen Fox, who is, well, not the most valuable player on our team, but he's pretty damn close. Columbus, don't worry. I will give you a replacement because I want my second round pick back. Uh, because I would like to give you both Sokoloff and Lannon. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'd like to give you both these guys because they need to go. Thoughts on the Coyotes moving. They're not moving yet. There's a good chance they're going to move, but nothing's official. All right. Cap-wise, who do they have? Ooh, Marcus Foligno. Our old friend Marcus Foligno. I'm 85% sure they will. Sure, they're likely to move. What are my thoughts on them moving? I don't have any thoughts, though, because it's not confirmed. So who cares? Uh, I'm good with bringing in Marcus Foligno as a depth face puncher. Shout out to DJ Chunky Kong on the follow, by the way. Uh, so we'll take on Foligno to give you some cap space to bring these boys in. We'll get our second round pick back. And maybe just take a little bit extra from you as well. Honestly, that... Oof. Oof. Columbus, can I just... Can I just pick hoard the shit out of Columbus here? Let's actually... Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, that was rejected. Take out a third. Reject it again. Let's see. All right. So Sokolov and Lannon, we're going to trade out these younger defenders to Columbus, two second rounders, a third, and Marcus Foligno. That is a done deal. And we're not done because we are going to use that second round pick to bring in Bowen Byram. Cody, what's going on? We're going to look to bring in Bowen Byram from Colorado. To make our defensive side, he's got fucking murderer's eyes, by the way. Uh, to make our, our left side defense, Fox Byram Riley, which is absolutely absurd. And again, we know Colorado cannot match that deal. So we will uh, take advantage of the AI being dumb, because let's be honest, uh, all you have to do is just play the game and you take advantage of their stupidity. It's, it's a feature. And there we go. So for a second round pick, Sokoloff and Lannon, our defense is as follows. Left side is going to be Fox, 
Byram, and our Captain Morgan Riley. Our right side is Coolamans, Lamaro, and Axel Sandine Palica. That is so stupid. That is so stupid. Then again, we have Dickinson in the system. It's Dickinson, Houghton, and Schultz. And then right side, Korolev, Garvin, and other than the MLR Hollowell. Cool. So I need to bring in another calf whale on defense. Endo, you are the greatest calf whale in history. Thank you for the 30 months. And indeed, use promo code Tuggy at manscaped.com for 20% off your order and free shipping. Do it. Do it now. Do it. All right. Uh, any veterans? Ryan McDonough? Ryan McDonough? Ooh, Matthias Eckholm. You know, the man who won the Oilers the trade deadline. I like Matias at home a lot, but uh oof. 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 Goodness. It was a high stick. How about you not waste Connor McDavid? How about Leon Dreisaitl scores more than uh oh zero goals in the final four games of a series? How about that? How about that? All right, Ekholm is there. So this team is going to be gross. Barnison and Wall. Byram, Fox, Kuhlemans, Riley, Lamoureux, Sandine, Pelica. And we can go with Matthias Ekholm. Probably. Oh, that's right. I actually can't call him up for the depth option. Uh, let's go with Topi Niemela. Let's go with Topi Niemela. It'll be oh uh, what it, no it's right it was going to be the allowable player limit never mind forwards send down Demick really quickly defensively now can I call up Eckel yes I can good on the right Nylander, Meechkov Sale Seron Noel even though his overalls down has earned it Felino will be the depth option left side oh my god. Oh, boy. So, Poltapov, Fedotov can go down. Hirvanen has earned his spot. Graves. Graves has earned his spot. He'll get that first chance. If it's not him, it's Kiskinen. Again, we signed Fedotov, Poltapov, Kisakov. Got a cough. Yeah, I, I think we'll give Graves the opportunity. That left side's under gonna go going to undergo a lot of changes. And then centers, Macklin, Misa, Geeky, Pillar. This team is uh this team is ridiculous. <laughs> now, obviously, we'll see what we have in terms of chemistry uh, with our coach. But in an ideal world, in an ideal world. That is what the forward uh, forward lines look at so far this season. Again, that fourth line was amazing for us last year. Uh, we should be back in the playoffs off of that forward group alone. Defensively is going to be insane. As that's what we're looking like. Again, we'll double check chemistry, but Fox, Kuhlman's both from Columbus, Byram, Lamoureux, Riley, Sandy, and Pelica. And then in goal, like we mentioned, Barnison and Wall. With Felino and Ekholm as our healthy scratches. Whew. This might be... I, I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Might this be the first season where Toronto wins a cup? And man, we won't be done. We won't be done if this is the first year that we win. This could be this could be the first dynasty that we've had in a long time. Damn.